Welcome back to KETV News Watch 7's Chronicle. This morning, we brought you more of the exit interview with Hank Bounds. He's talked candidly about a lot of issues facing the state and the university. But during our conversation, he also talked about why someone should want the president's job after he steps aside. And he says Nebraska is a place where people will listen to the competition argument. I mean, what other place has a, a really good academic health science center that is nationally and internationally recognized, an urban campus that uh, understands how to meet the needs of first generation students and students coming from an urban center, a land grant institution that has a presence in almost every county in the state and has a really a national and international reach, uh, an outstate in, uh, university that at the end of the day looks sort of like a small private college where everybody knows your name. And if you think about that, there's no student in the country that can't find a fit somewhere. Mm -hmm. So when you think about trying to uh, recruit students, you can recruit them to a campus at the University of Nebraska. But that also brings a diversity of research expertise. And what we have figured out over the past four or five years is how to work together, uh, how to share resources, uh, how to bring team science to bear. Um, and then I think about the institutes that are in place. So uh, the Buffett Early Childhood Center. What other state says we want, to, we want this to be the best place in the country to be a baby? We have a UARC, a University Affiliated Research Center. We are on speed dial at the Pentagon when it comes to countering weapons of mass destruction, whether it's nuclear, biological, chemical, radiological, or cyber. We have the Doherty Water for Food Institute. Uh, I think the biggest national security issue that our nation faces is water and food insecurity. Hungry and thirsty people aren't rational people. Uh, it's what causes people to uh, become radicalized in places around the world. Um, and not only do we, because of Doherty Water for Food Institute, not only do we have a seat at that table in figuring out how to feed uh, and provide clean drinking water to the world, I think we're at the head of the table right now. And that list goes on and on and on about the institutes that have been set up. So a multitude of campuses, that really work together well, good leaders on all of our campuses, quality faculty, uh, an ability to think about how we recruit students in a very different way, research that really matters to the world. Uh, if I'm sitting out there and I'm in a place where I'm thinking about opportunities, the University of Nebraska would still be at the top of my list of places that I would wanna go lead because it's, this is a place where you can really change the world. Our thanks to Hank Bounds for the conversation this morning. His last official day on the job is coming up this next week, August 14th. He and his family are moving south, seeking some of that year-round warm weather. Hank told me he's looking forward to playing golf all year, and he'll be close to the waters of the Gulf of Mexico, where he can deep-sea fish. He will return to teaching and may continue to consult Nebraska on future projects. Remember, if you missed any part of this show or if you want to watch it again, it's online right now on KETV.com. Just go to our homepage and click on the menu button and then look for the Chronicle tab. I'm David Earle. Thanks for watching this morning for this Chronicle exclusive. And we'll see you back here next Sunday morning for KETV News Watch 7's Chronicle.